come back doing another entry in my journal. And I mentioned in our lesson on Monday that I wanted to include Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And I had already started on the anvil. And to do that, I just started a straight line on one of my handwriting lines. And then I drew a line upward and went half between the... Um, in, in teaching, I would have called this the midline. The um, upper line, the baseline, and the midline. So I would just draw a line across that. And then come back down to your baseline. Come in and then curve that around. And then I came back over to this other side and I curved down and back to create that point of the anvil. And then I wanted my base to be at the same size, the same height as this other side. So I came over and went ahead and drew that. And then I just curved it in to, to fit. And these don't have to be exactly the same because these are two different sides of the anvil. And then I came in with the base on both sides and just did an arch in the middle to connect those. And so it may look a little challenging, but not much. Not much difficulty there. And then I'm going to trace around it. And these are just Paper Mate Flare Medium Point Pens. And I got a pack, really reasonable at Walmart. So I enjoy outlining with these. They don't bleed through your pages. So that's a plus. Well, I'm doing that pretty crooked, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> Try to straighten it up a little bit. Don't let working in your journal stress you out. This is supposed to be relaxing and fun. And if you get stressed about every little squibble or miss gobble when you get out of the line, then not going to be as much fun and not as meaningful. Most of the time you can just go back over things and fix it. Or, worst case scenario, draw another one and glue on top of this one. <laughs> okay, so there is the anvil. And now I'm going to work on the mallet or the sledgehammer. I'm going to draw the handle coming upward. It's going to be two straight lines side by side. Curve that end. And then curve this end. Now you can notice there's a space between the head of that mallet and the handle. So I'm going to come over on both sides. I think mine will be touching. And arch it in. And then the, the handle comes back out on the other side a little bit. I think I want a brown handle. Mount. 
in the word say iron and they're written at an angle. Can you see that? Am I getting out of frame? And the letters get smaller. Iron sharpens. Iron. And these get larger. So iron sharpens iron. So one man sharpens another. I'll try to fix those in here. I made that go upward so then I have room for sharpens to come underneath it. And then another. It has Proverbs 27, 17, but I think I'm just going to put it over here. Proverbs 27, 17. And always while I'm coloring, I'm thinking about what the verse says. And I'm thinking about how mentoring sharpens each of the participants. Not only the mentor, but also the mentee. Because you form a relationship based on trust. And you're able to share your thoughts with one another. And share scripture with one another share what you're learning with each other and it sharpens both of you and it's not always a painless process sometimes you have to to be real with the other person and you may have to point out what God is showing you through scripture that isn't always pleasant but in the end iron is sharpening iron and you're going to grow stronger in your Christian walk as a result. So, again, have a great week.